lovely people of YouTube and welcome back to Mark on Life. This week I want to talk about something a bit difficult, being all by yourself. So let's do it. So before we go any further, first things first, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who watched episode 6 of Real Perspectives, which was The Never Ending Story. Um, if you haven't seen it, as always as well, I will put a link in the description so you can go and check it out. Um, also, I thought because I've been sitting on this couch for a while, I should probably show you why I have these particular uh, cushions here. This one, uh, film fans will recognise straight away, Breakfast Club. If you don't recognise this one, I can't speak to you anymore. Obviously, the wonderful Totoro from Studio Ghibli. And then we have Harry Potter. So a nice movie-based environment for these movie-based comedy videos. Today I want to talk about self-shooting, basically, because it's one of the things that was paramount in this project uh, of Real Perspectives, is that I could do everything myself, uh, which I always found quite difficult. And as I said in the past when I'd made things, I delegated to a bunch of other people to be able to get it done to a decent quality. So with this series, I scaled back the quality so I could shoot it myself. Now, that's not to say that every episode I have done that, it's, it's to say that I could do if I needed to. And I want to talk about the possibilities of that and the limitations of that. So it might get a little bit ranty, apologies, this is not a how-to video, but that's what I want to talk about today. So, luckily, in most of the episodes, somebody has been around to help me to shoot a few shots, or all of the shots, or just to help out generally, which is great, and if you have access to that, it's fantastic. Self-shooting, the main issue I find with it is time. Doing things by yourself, particularly if they get more complicated, just takes a long time. Um, but having things like access to help and equipment can shorten that time considerably, depending on what you're shooting. Now, if you're shooting something like this, you know, a vlog, it's not a problem. I mean, I'm sitting here on my sofa with my phone. I don't shoot on an expensive camera. I shoot on my, my phone. It's an iPhone 6S on a little tripod, which costs about £20. So, not a setup. And even if you don't have that, you could shoot, you could use a, a box or a stack of books instead of a tripod if you don't even have that kind of budget. So this can be done. And this kind of thing um, is, is not difficult to shoot by yourself. Now obviously um, the quality is a little bit lower because I'm using the front facing camera here because I don't have like a nice uh, DSLR camera with a flip that could uh, show me what I'm looking at. So uh, I have to be able to see it. And that's one of the problems we're going to come on to in a second. The episode that I shot myself completely, apart from I think it was one shot, was episode five, which was Terminator. Again, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link, go back and check it out. And what that did is make the shoot process about five times longer. Because um, I have no lights. You know, I could buy lights, but I don't want to, I have no budget at the moment, so I have no lights at all, and therefore I am limited to the hours of daylight. Particularly on uh, an iPhone where uh, it doesn't shoot very well on low light, you know, so I am shooting um, during the day. And of course, then you're limited to what the hours of daylight are. Now we're in the autumn and winter, um, it's starting to get dark at about four or five o'clock. So by that time, that's the end of your shoot. Unless, of course, you want it to be really inconsistent. Now, of course, if you're shooting a, a vlog, it doesn't really matter that much. You know, if you're shooting something really simple like this, no one's really going to care if your shot is a little bit inconsistent in light from one to the other. But if you're doing a more complicated thing, a sketch, something like that, or a short film, people won't be quite as uh, forgiving, I think. If you have a scene where you have two people talking in a simple situation and one, one shot doesn't match another shot at all, it's going to really jar. Um, and so you have a bunch of options. Either you invest in lights so that you can get consistency throughout your shoot, or you shoot uh, all in uh, over a number of days, 
um, which is possible if you have the time, or you scale back what you're actually shooting. So that's sometimes what I have to do. I just have to say, because I'm wearing sometimes uh, an annoying costume, like in the Never Ending Story episode, I was wearing a costume I didn't really want to take on and off more than once. Um, I'm going to talk about costume next episode. Um, then you just have to scale back. You have to say, this is what I can shoot in the time. Obviously, if you can get up at six in the morning, five in the morning and start shooting even earlier, fantastic. But not everybody's going to be able to do that. So you can only do what you can in the time. Um, obviously, also, if you have access to other people, that scales your time down massively as well. If that person knows how to use a camera, which isn't very difficult these days. So for the Terminator episode, for example, um, because I'm shooting myself, rather than have somebody else line up the shot, action, we go, cut, I have to do that all myself. And like I say, because I don't have a flip uh, camera, I have to be behind the camera to set that up myself. So I have to literally get the camera on the tripod, set the shot up, check that the, um, the lighting and the framing and everything is right, then go into shot, record for five, te five, 10 seconds, test it, come back in front of the camera, watch it, if it's wrong, adjust it, go back, do another test, and then do that process over and over until it's right, then shoot it, then come back behind the camera to check that it's all been done, um, which is so lengthy. And of course, I'm wearing this little um, Lavalier mic uh, microphone that is attached to the camera, so that adds a bit of difficulty as well, making sure it's always plugged in and plugged out. Um, it's doable, but it just means that each shot exponentially takes longer and longer and longer. Um, now you might think, well that's quite a negative way to look at it, but in fact, I don't think it is, because this video is not to say, oh it's going to be difficult if you don't have other people. In fact, the point of this video is to say that it can be done. So if you are somebody out there who is feeling that, I just don't know if I can make these things, I want to make something that's a bit more elaborate or a bit more imaginative than, than just a daily vlog or something, but I don't have access to all this gear and, and people to help me or anything, then, then what I'm saying today is that you, you can do it. It might take a little bit longer and um, you might have to cut back the, the elaborate nature of what you're doing, but it can absolutely be done. I've certainly had my share of issues with this uh, series of shooting retrospectives but then that was part of the fun, finding those solutions to those problems so that they can be kind of solved for the rest of the series and then the next series, which will be next year. So now for something a bit more fun, because that was a bit serious, wasn't it? So as I did two episodes ago for the Halloween episode, um, I have some bloopers for you, some outtakes. This particular set of uh, bloopers, I am going to call Moustache Gate. You will see what I mean. Enjoy. Oh, it seems that every day one is asked for something. <laughs> God's sake, right in the middle. Right in the middle of a cunting plate. God's sake. And I've taken my bloody glasses off. Oh, it's wonderful, my dear boy. Magical. Oh, God. I once almost bit Wolfgang Peterson on the face. Oh, shit. You have no idea how much cocaine I could fit up these cavernous nostrils. Fucking hell. It's going to happen every fucking scene, isn't it? Of course, dear boy. I've got new headshots and we're sending them out. Oh, God. Would you believe it? As I lay there. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh God. Oh, this fucking thing is coming off. I I've got to change. Never again. Never again a false moustache. What was I thinking? Thank you very much for watching. Hope this has been helpful or enjoyable in some way. 
Um, if you shoot stuff on your own, please let me know in the comments below how you do it, um, what limitations you find, and how you get past them. Because if any other filmmakers are watching, um, we can all help each other. The next uh, episode, I will be talking about costume because it's something that I am kind of getting more and more interested in as the episodes get more elaborate. Um, and that is enough from me. Um, see you next episode. I've been Mark on Life. And I'll speak to you soon.